Hello and welcome to the calculator guide video on normal distribution probabilities using distribution mode on a Casio FX CG50. We will be using distribution mode in this video. This was introduced to the FX CG50 in 2022. Let's take a look at the question. The random variable X is distributed normally with a mean of 42 and a variance of 17 and we've got to find these following probabilities. From the menu, we need to select distribution, which is option I. We've got three choices here, and for this question, we want to choose normal. The first option that we have within the normal menu is which tail we want to use. You can see that we have lower, center, and upper tails as an option. Well, looking at part A, we're looking for the probability that X is less than or equal to 38. So we want the lower tail option for part A, which we already have pre-selected by default. We've also got to input X, Sigma and Mu. Let's just press F6 at this point to get some detail on that. X is the data value. So in part A, that is 38. Sigma is the population standard deviation where Sigma is greater than zero and um, mu is the population mean. Let's exit back and input the values relevant for our question here. So X is 38 for part A. Sigma is the standard deviation. Looking at the distribution, remember that it is the variance that is given in the distribution. So we want to find the square root of that, the square root of 17, but the calculator can do that for us. So if you do shift, square root and 17, press execute, and we've got the value there for the standard deviation. And finally, we've got the mean, which is 42. Press execute and execute again. So with a distribution mode, we've got a graph, a visual representation of the probability that we've got there, showing the area of the graph that is shaded and the corresponding probability. The value for the probability is located at the top here, for part A, it's 0.1659. I'm going to exit back to the start menu for part B, although there is a way of changing the probabilities that we're looking for within this graph mode here, which I'll show you a bit later. But just to get us familiar again with the first menu screen, we'll just exit back for part B. So part B, we're looking for the probability that X is greater than 41. Now that is upper tail. So if you navigate back to tail and press F3, now you might notice that we've got X is greater than or equal to, but you must remember that the normal distribution is a continuous distribution and we can use X is greater than or X is greater than or equal to interchangeably for the probabilities. The standard deviation and the mean remain the same. So all we need to alter for part B is the X value, which is 41. Press execute and execute once more. And we've got the graph here drawn again. The value of the probability again is here at the top, 0.5958. Now you may notice that the value of X is highlighted there, which means it is editable within this graph part of the distribution feature. So we can go and change that value if we wanted to find other values that X is greater than or equal to. However, we will move on to part C, but we can change the type of region that we're looking for within this graph function. If we press option and then, well, if we have a look at part C, we've got an upper and lower bound. So we're looking for a central region for this question. So that's option F3 here. And you can see at the top, it's ready for us to input the values for our upper and lower limits. So our lower bound there is 33.5, press execute, and then navigate to the upper bound. We've got 44.5 and execute. And you can see it's shaded the area there on the graph for us and given us the probability 0.7082. And of course, what we can do to answer part D is we can remain within the graph function here and just edit the values for our lower and upper bound. So lower bound there of 41 and an upper of 43, press execute. We've got a smaller, narrower region here and therefore a smaller probability. 
0.1916. So there we go, how we can find probabilities using distribution mode from the normal distribution, arguably easier to access than going through the statistics mode on the FX CG50 as previously. And in a second video, we'll have a look at how to use the inverse normal using distribution mode. So if we have probabilities or if we have an area of the graph, how do we go and find the relevant values for those? But that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I shall see you next time on The Calculator Guide.